Hello and in this Apache Isis screencast I'm going to follow on from the previous one where I was showing how um, we have support in Apache Isis for Swagger in uh, 1.11.0 um, and how this can be used um, as to provide a REST API suitable for custom web apps. So in this screencast I'm going to talk and show you through such a custom web app and um, so if I pick up, this is working on the contact app uh, that you can find on GitHub and if I hit the uh, home page we were looking at the Swagger UI but down here we have Frontend which is a web app that's been built using Ionic which is a mobile web app that sits on top of Angular so if I follow the link through to there I end up with the, the web app itself now it's designed to run within um, the, the size of a mobile app uh, Ionic uses Cordova underneath the covers um, so if I just um, run the same application but in the the normal size this would be what we would have so I can log in using my usual Sven pass and then we were hitting the rest API we have the list of all of the um, the contacts and I can drill down and I can get the details and that's it really that's the application I can log out and I can try to log in with a nonsense user account and uh, there we are so that's that's the application really a read-only uh, application. So this is, um, as I say, written using Ionic. Uh, just to really to show you then how this uh, fits together. Um, so what do I need to show? So I'm, I'm I've got the application um, organized as follows. So this is the the, the client side, if you like. Uh, I have front end, and this is the Ionic application. We have a number of uh, controllers we have uh, the application, an Angular application um, and then this is configured so that the assets are being built across into the back end and the back end is the actual um, uh, ISIS application and so source, main, web app, front end this is where the assets are and so uh, there's a gulp task within the front end which is basically copying over the JavaScript as I change uh, change things if I were working um, and making changes. So as I say, here's under the front end folder, just to explain it one more time, I've got my JavaScript resources and um, I've got a gulp task down here which is to uh, to process and look out for changes. What I'm doing when I run the application is I will go ionic serve so this is basically um, causing the gulp task to run and is, I'm going to close that off, it's basically looking out for changes and if I were to make changes you will see they would get published over to the back end and the back end is serving this as I say this application is then acting as a loopback so it's uh, calling upon itself just to look at some of the, the salient bits of code um, so in the, let's think about it, in the controllers so the login is going to go all service login the all service is defined in the authentication JS what this tries to do, what this does do is it basically aims to hit a one particular RESTful URL um, trying to set up a base and code of the um, base authentication if this works, this is the authentic authorization header if this works, we're, we're successful and we know that's good and then effectively we set up the HTTP service so every subsequent call uses the same authorization if it fails we basically, well we don't, we carry on we go back to the login page effectively so that's what the, the, the login page, uh, controller is doing then we have a contacts controller so this will only ever um, be called if we get past and through the login phase and so this is going to do a restful call to um, going through to the the resource that's going to give me back a representation of the home page and then here is where we say please give me back give it back in the format uh, as you saw in the previous screencast which is in the simplified representation that makes it easy to process and then we just take the objects and make them available um, to the page and uh, the contact detail which is what happens when you do the drill down here's the list of contacts if I do the drill down 
then this works in a very similar way. I'm basically hitting the uh, the contact your resource for the particular instance, and again specifying uh, the simplified representation. Okay, so that's all as much as I want to go into. You can pull the code down uh, from GitHub and try it out. Uh, if you do try that out, just be aware that this is running against 1.11.0 snapshot, which at the time of this recording hasn't been released uh, to Maven Central, so you'll need to build it locally. But hopefully that made some kind of sense, and uh, give it a go. Thanks a lot. Bye now.